Alright everyone, welcome back to more Steins Gate. After finally meeting another new character by the name of Lukako or Luca, who is also an exorcist that we needed to apparently expel some uh, evil within us, which there really wasn't, I found everything about that part hilarious by the way guys. It was just <laughs> it was just so incredibly funny. But we're going to continue on from there and see how the exorcism goes if anything. So hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you again for all the love and support. Let's continue on. Alright everyone, welcome back again. <laughs> Lukako starts crying. Looks like he's really worried. Reasons tell me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty. Like I made a frail girl cry. But despite the tears welling up in his eyes, it looks like Lukako's managed to work up his resolve. He raises the onusa up high, shaking it left and right. The tip of the onusa touches my upper arm. In an anime, this would be a cue for some dramatic shockwave to occur, but nothing like that happens. The only sound is the tripping of cicadas. I take a deep breath. The trembling in my arm has stopped. Lukako sighs in relief and blushes. His shy smile really does make him look like a girl. I was expecting another, but he's a guy. <laughs> After I get back to the lab, I take the broken TV down to the Braun Tube workshop for repairs. Dado and Mayuri have already gotten home, so I have to carry the TV down the narrow staircase by myself. It's brutal. Backbreaking work, but I manage. I push the workshop door open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, but the gloom is offset by the glare from the gigantic CRT in the center of the room. A 42 inch CRT television. It doesn't seem like something you could get in modern Japan. With LCD TVs becoming the new standard, I seriously doubt anyone would want a bulky old CRT. Oh, how's it going? Now this dude is cut, man. Sitting in front of the huge CRT is an equally huge man reading a sports newspaper. He's the workshop's manager, actually the owner of this whole building, Tenoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun. It's a fitting name for someone who loves brawn tubes. どうしたもこうしたもないですよ。あなたからもらったテレビが壊れた。おめえ。俺のブランカンをランボーに扱いやがったな。I barely managed to set the heavy TV on the counter. あいが足りねえんだよ、あいが。a muscle-bound ball guy talking about love. It sent shivers down my spine. Mr. Braun begins investigating the cause of the problem. With nothing better to do, I look around the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. That haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they are all functional, according to Mr. Braun. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. The crowds in Akiba thin quickly at night. All the major electronics stores close around 8 or 9 o'clock. Then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. Today, 
俺の愛しい娘を小動物呼ばわりするんじゃねえ The manager glares at me and takes a photo from his wallet. It is a picture of a young girl as shyly making a peace sign at the camera. One might assume this muscle bound man to be some kind of pervert, but the girl is actually his daughter. She's about 12 years old now, I think. His love for her is second to only his love for CRTs, or was it the other way around? I see her in the store every now and again. What was her name again? Nae. That's it, Nae, a rare name that means to brave. She pops up at the store now and again, so we've interacted with her before. And by we, I mean Mayuri, since she's the only one Nae gets along with. Nae always hides when she sees me or Dada. I must admit, I'm impressed she can sense my aura of madness at such an early age. <laughs> Mr. Bond makes a grandiose kissing gesture at his daughter's photo. Once again, shivers down my spine. しかし、娘以外でこの工房に客が来ることがあるんですか I've been renting the second floor for about six months, but I don't recall ever seeing a customer. I would be surprised if this place were actually making any money. 客っつうか、なんつうか。He puts away the photo and goes back to checking the TV, leaving me with that vague answer. Ah, これは多分基盤のハンダ浮きだな。直せろぜ。そうですか。ではよろしく。待ってろ。見積もり書作ってやる。金を取るのかあたり前だろ腹をねつもりだったのかこのテレビはあなたからもらったものだぞどうからなんだよアフターサービスまでタダでやってやるとは言ってねえぜおのれ寿命間近のオンボロを押し付けておいてそのいぐさ
来月から2階の家賃1000円増しな<笑>俺は事実を言ったまでですよもっとも部外者が口を出す問題ではないがしかしブラウン管工房がバイトを募集していたともなこの暇さではその必要性を全く感じないのだがああそれは私が電話で無理言って頼んだんです The girl looks a little embarrassed. 最初は断られたんだけどさ店長さんにどうしてもお願いしますって That's honestly surprising. 今時珍しい若者がいたもんだよなまそこの椅子に座んなお嬢ちゃんじ失礼します Looks like they're gonna have a formal interview. I was gonna leave, but since Master, master since Mr. Braun hasn't kicked me out, I'll stick around a bit longer. The girl's expression is stiff. I guess she's nervous. Just because of a part time job interview? In contrast to how she said she wouldn't take no for an answer, she doesn't seem so enthusiastic. Toshiwa. <laughs> Same as me. Gaksei? Oh. She shakes her head. Nan de uchi da hatarakitai da? Brown kan ga suki da kara. Sayo! Ashita kara koi! Just like that, you're hired. Cho! Sore de i no ka? Toyu ka, kore wa konto ka? Moshi ka shite shikomi ka? I like that. I like how he had like that high. Achoo! Finally, Amane Suzuha seems to relax. Then she looks at me. ところでさ、君は誰俺のな。聞きたいというのか。いや、やめておけ。それを知ることで、お前にも最悪が降りかかるかもしれない。これまでも多くの人が俺の名を知ったことで機関に狙われたアメリカのサライタリアのクラウディアフランスのシモンこれ以上誰かを危険な目に遭わせるわけには This guy is just so much right now おいアホな妄想してんじゃねえよ He just doesn't understand my pain このバカ男は2階に曲がりしてる岡部凛太郎ってんだ岡部ではない俺は法院うるせえ家賃さらに1000円上乗せするぞ岡部凛太郎だ He gave up real fast too once he found that he's gonna have his rent raised The girl stands up, places her hand on my shoulder, and looks at me with a serious expression. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> He's like, okay. Uh -huh. Stuff like what? Oh, Mr. Brown, Kanojo was a Yoshi Nahoga Ito Mo. Ah, Busso Dana Sang Yogosta Kubini Surukarana. Somo Somo, Sono Kikan Nantara, Okabe no Sosa Gudagara, Honkinisuna. Sosa? せいぜいそう思ってるがいいさ。But someday the world will kneel before me. わっはっはっは。And then Amane Suzuha stares straight at me again. Maybe she has a habit of looking at people in the eye. そういうのが流行ってんだ。勉強になったよ。Trend? I don't think so. That's it.
I was at university all morning. As I returned to Akiba, the heat is now becoming unbearable. And I got mail. Ah, who is it? Do, 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 do. Lukako. Are you really okay with yesterday's exorcism? Exorcism? I feel like a more traditional ceremony would have been better. I'm worried something might happen to you because my exorcism wasn't strong enough. It bothers me so much. I can't sleep at night. P.S. Because of that, I couldn't do more than three practice swings with Samidare. <laughs> okay. I grabbed an iced coffee at the bakery inside Yodobashi to quench my thirst. While I'm at it, I guess I'll check out channel on my phone. I mostly frequent the occult board, the future technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads in the mass disappearance phenomenon or Makise Kurisu stabbing, but turn up nothing. So were those hallucinations after all? When I peek at the occult board, I find posts in multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titer. Wait, John Titer is back? John Titer appeared on an American BBS 10 years ago claiming to be a time traveler. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBM 5100. His claims started quite a storm among the BBS denizens. I'm assuming it's a model computer here. IBM, fictional, an American computer company. Not only do they develop and sell hardware and software, they also offer service and consultation to enterprises. However, in recent years, they have made the latter their main focus, the inventor of floppy disks and hard, hard disk drives. IBM, got you. Titer also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War and the spread of Kreutzfeldt's Yakov disease, for example. Ah, another one I need to look up. Another name for bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSE commonly known as mad cow disease, but only in the case of human infection. Early symptoms include memory loss, abnormal movements, personality changes, dementia, and muscle stiffness. In severe cases, the patient may waste away for one or two years before dying of respiratory paralysis or other complications. Ooh. Ooh. To prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind this time machine and provided pictures of its operational manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. So after 10 years of silence, that same John Titer is now on a Japanese BBS. Ridiculous, it's obviously a troll. First of all, John Titer is an American, yet now he's posting at a channel in Japanese. Let's take a look at his posts. Alright, so I don't expect you to believe that I came from the year 2036. I see that everyone would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed by CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. Okay, people are laughing. More details on time machine. Did they sell time machines? How much did they cost? Got yeah, about 100 million yen saved. Can you send me one? Dystopia. Alright, CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one, to say nothing of a private citizen. CERN used their time machine for power. By 2036, the world has become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, that is a false peace founded in the complete eradication of liberty. <laughs> what does lol mean? Why did you come to this time? Was the Akiba satellite crash you're doing? Titer-san doesn't understand at channel lingo. Let's keep it simple, okay? If you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. I came here to change my present. In other words, your future. My mission is to destroy CERN's dystopia and restore freedom to the world. This is a wonderful time you're living in. Everyone is free. But you will lose it all in just 20 short years. It is vitally important that you understand what the future has in store. What is a trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. You said only CERN has time machines. You have a time machine. That must mean you're working for CERN. Therefore, your goal can't be to destroy CERN's dystopia. You're a fraud. 
QED. What's a dystopia? How can CERN take over the world in just 20 years? Look at the Middle East. You've been reading too much manga if you think you can get those guys to stop killing each other. Who asked you to change the future? You trying to play God? If they're promising world peace, then I for one welcome our new CERN overlords. <laughs> My time machine is a prototype reverse engineer from stolen CERN technology. Compared to their time machine, its capabilities are quite limited. In 2036, the world is ru ruled by a single all-powerful govern body, governing body. They control every aspect of our lives, deciding what we will eat, where we will live, and whom we will marry. There is no privacy and no choice. Anybody who dares oppose them is eliminated. There are no trials. In movies and stuff, small changes to the past cause huge changes to the future. You already changed the present by coming here. What happens if you make an unexpected change to the future? Implying CERN rules the world. Do you even know what CERN is? OP is a troll. So if we find his dad and kill him, then this time traveler, laughing, <laughs> will never be born and we won't have, listen, have to listen to this BS, am I right? I want to know if you can meet your past self. Can you have selfs? <laughs> What's with these people? You're talking about the so-called grandfather paradox that has been debunked. This worldwide world line has a divergence of 0.571024% compared to the world line I came from. Killing my father would alter divergence, creating a world line where my father is dead. However, it would not erase this world line. I would go on existing. CERN is a particle physics research institution, institution that has changed in 2036. It's possible to meet your past self. The prevailing theory in my time is that nothing would happen. I, however, haven't met my past self. If we're really a time traveler, then <laughs> prove it. Post time machine pics or get them out. The mini world's interpretation. Whoa, slow down, bro. Taking over the world. What? I do not feel the need to prove that I am what I say I am. I'm only posting these messages on a whim. My mission comes first. For all I know, this time traveler could be um, ho ho in himself. <laughs> what are world lines? Can you meet yourself from our world line? What happens if you do? Late reply. A trip code is a way to identify posters. Put a hashtag password after your name. Backpedaling. World lines are like an infinite number of rivers flowing in parallel along the way. They are constantly branching out into new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post on this message board has practically no effect on this world line's divergence. Every time they say world line, uh, I forget, not forget, but like that's their way of saying timeline. That's why it like confuses me. But if you were murdered, let's say, then divergence would change. However, it would only change by about 0.00002% if that. A single human being's death is not terribly significant on a global scale. Wars, disasters, acts of terrorism, and other events that cause widespread death and destruction have a much greater effect on divergence. Thanks for telling me about trip codes. I'll make sure to use this one from now on. I'm starting to get tired, so let's pick up again tomorrow. It's been fun talking to everybody. It looks like they've already made an archive of these board these threads. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Titer for years now. This post closely resembles what the original Titer wrote 10 years ago. I read one of the books on Titer. That's how I know. This new John Titer is clearly an imposter. There are many Titer fanatics at that channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find the response to be the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time traveler as if this were his first appearance. Nobody has even mentioned his appearance 10 years ago. Finding this strange, I try posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the hell? You can figure this out if you do a little research, people. There's the original John Titer Thread archive in English and plenty of Titer blogs in Japanese. I enter John Titer's name into the search engine. 12 matches. Wait, only 12? Moreover, all 12 are about the current Titer's postings on that channel. I can't find a single trace of the Titer from 10 years ago. Bizarre. This just can't be. I searched for information on Titer a few years ago. Back then, I got tens of thousands of hits. Is this search engine filtered? He's in a different timeline, that's why. In this timeline, John Titer wasn't researched as often and didn't, doesn't have enough info on the at channel threads. I tried searching on another site just to make sure, but it gives the same result. What is this madness? 
It feels like I've stumbled onto another plane of reality. Could this be another organization conspiracy? These past two days I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Dad. He'll know about Tyler for sure. After all, I've talked to him about Tyler before. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation, but I'm positive the conversation happened. By the time I dig my phone out of my bag, I no longer feel like making the call. Instead, I send him an email on the way back to the lab. He replies with his location. By May Queen, he means May Queen plus Nian Square, a maid cafe. Dadu's a regular there. Apparently, 3D cat maids are his thing too. It's only a three minute walk from the lab. Coming from Kuramaibashi Dori, take a left at Tsumakoisa Crossing and you'll find it. That's where I'm headed now. It's usually busy in Akiba during summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Radikan incident. The area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a single police officer today. But the Radikan building still seems off limits. The entrance shutters are closed shut and sealed with yellow police tape. え、警察the media has dozens of cameras set up outside of the police line, and there are nearly twice as many onlookers as reporters, enough to fill the entire street with people. Everyone's aiming their phone cameras at the satellite-like object. So many people. Living in Akiba, you get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering of this size is unusual. I wonder when they'll get rid of that thing. I hope it doesn't explode or something. They've been letting people back into the area, so I guess there's no danger. Still, considering its unknown origin, I'm surprised there isn't more security. Today, like always, otaku are shopping for doujinshi, import games, electronics, or whatever strikes their fancy. Aside from the scene at Vatican, it's the same as any other day. But I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. I have half accepted that the mass disappearance was just my imagination. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. And there in front of me stands a woman holding her cell phone in front of her face. <coughs> she took a picture. Her phone was clearly pointed at me. I tried to cover my face but not quickly enough. I turn around just to make sure that she wasn't pointing it at someone behind me but that doesn't seem to be the case. <coughs> She's still staring at her phone. Without even glancing at me, she turns around and points her phone at some other pedestrian. Maybe she's just taking photos of everyone at the scene and not just me. But still, I need to have a word with her. The organization's after me, so I can't risk the photo getting out. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> she doesn't turn around. Is she so engrossed in her photography that she doesn't even notice me? Or did she not catch my magnificent native level English? She turns back, finally noticing me. And of course, her phone turns with her. She completely ignores my objection. And then she goes back to looking at her phone. If she is, then I may have to take su suitable measures. Like what? じ、違うのか。違うとしても問題がありますよ。俺の写真を持っていると機関に知られれば、あなたにも奴らの魔の手が伸びるかもしれない。え、とにかく<笑> <laughs> lady ignoring me. Is she even listening? 
Wow, she finally speaks. Just a whisper, but it's something. Alright everyone, I'm going to end the video here for today. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, I'm going to continue on and see if this girl even introduces herself because she's a very odd one and she took a picture of us, so that's something.